Hello, my name is Spencer, and I've been working in and around the E14 area for about 25 years now. I love E14, it's full of some really amazing businesses and people. And with that in mind, today I'm with David, the sales director from Galliard Homes, who's a real E14 uh, stalwart. David, how are you today? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Working well. You good? Yeah, yeah, all, all good here. Thank you for asking. Uh, David, what do you love about E14? I just love its vibrancy. I love the cosmopolitan feel about it. Um, as I've mentioned to you in the past, I lived there in 1985. There were probably me, two dogs, and a couple of Chinese restaurants. Um, and I just love the fact that it's become this cosmopolitan business district. Um, much nicer than the rest of London, if you want, if you want my opinion. Mm. I understand you lived on the island for quite a while. So in the early 80s, uh, I was involved in an estate agency that we uh, began selling property off plan in, in the Canary Wolf and Docklands area, well, before Canary Wolf was even conceived. Mm. And uh, I was living there myself, which I enjoyed doing. So I used, to, I, I used to work seven days a week back then. I probably still do now, according to the <laughs> wife. But it was a case of uh, roll out of bed and straight into the office. Uh, and you got a really good feel about it by living there. And it was just nice to be part of a, a pioneering brand new project. Mm, I, bet, I bet it was. How do you think, I mean, obviously the E14 area uh, has evolved enormously since the time that you lived there, probably almost unrecognisably so. How do you think it will continue to evolve? I think, obviously, uh, the current climate is making everything difficult to predict as to what's going to happen next. But what we've seen over the past few years, and I'm sure you will agree, is that it's matured as an area mm. that everyone's happy to live and work and play within the same location. I think in the early years, it was somewhere where you came to work in your shiny new tower and disappeared off to Essex or somewhere else to live um, and you didn't want to live there. But now we're getting schools uh, public schools, private schools, state schools uh, and nurseries within the area, which I think helps enormously so that although it wouldn't appear to be a family area, uh, because of the river, because of the parks, because of the farm, which people don't know, you know very much about, it is becoming into a family area. Um, what we've noticed is that a number of families where the partner is working in one of the big banks, coming from overseas, working for one, two, three, four, five years on a project, the whole family comes and actually they're more than happy to live there. They're used to living in that kind of environment. Mm. And I think the, uh, the UK public have become used to it too. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't agree more. The, uh, you know, the area has really developed. I mean, historically, it's always had a, a good sense of, you know, this like East End type community. Uh, but over the last, you know, 10 or 15 years, the infrastructure has really improved. So yeah, I really agree with, with what you said. Finally, if you could change one thing about E14 uh, and, always, and also keep one thing always the same, what, what, would that, what would that be? If I could keep one thing the same, it would be to uh, keep the sense of community. Um, yourself, uh, companies like us that have been in the Docklands area for a long, long time, together with most of the uh, other service industries are there, um, we have got a community going and I think it's really important to keep that community spirit, which is a bit of a mix of the old East End and mm. the new people coming in to live and they've definitely created a decent vibe. Um, if I'd want to change something, it would be for all of the construction to be finished tomorrow and they didn't <laughs> keep the road again because I can't tell you how many times I've seen the red bricks been, been dug up and replaced with tarmac and then replaced yeah. again with something else. Um, it's a sign of progress, I get it, but uh, it can be frustrating if it takes you uh, 15 minutes to drive to work, but 20 minutes to get into your car park. Yeah, yeah, I, I know the feeling. Uh, David, that's been really great. I'm, I'm sure our, our viewers will find that really informative. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Spencer. Look after yourself. Be well. Thank you. This final message goes out to all the E14 uh, people, residents, business owners who are watching this across the socials. If you know of a local business that would like to be interviewed, please tag them in the comment box below. Uh, it would be great to involve some more people, uh, maybe in the community project. We're happy to have a chat with you all. So thank you very much for watching. More videos will follow soon.